Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning. So how are you doing today? This is Pearly Martin, and I just dropped in, dropped in, because you know what? This today is another, another wonderful, beautiful day. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I like to exhort you and encourage you and remind you to keep looking for the good in your day so you can see God's goodness all throughout this wonderful day. And I wanted to drop in to remind you that that plan and purpose that God has called and ordained you to do, He still means for you to do it. Yes, yes, yes. So when God says, I'm um, uh, I, you know what I, I have been concentrating and thinking about um, the book of Exodus, Exodus 13 and 17. About, and talks about when when the Lord delivered the people from Pharaoh, how he took them. He didn't take them uh, to the road to, the, to the, the land of the Philistines, even though he knew it was the closest route. He took them to the longest route. He took them. He, he took them the longest ride because he said the people would change their mind and go back to Egypt if they have to face war. <laughs> I just drop in to say that, you know, there was two ways. There was a long way and then there was a short way. But the short way was not always the easy, the best way because that was the way that they were going to have to fight. And God knew they're not ready for this. They're not prepared for this. They don't know me. They don't trust me. They don't have faith to trust me. I'm going to take them this long route because through that long route, they had to face all these different types of obstacles, but the purpose of the obstacles was so they can learn to trust the Lord. He, he led them by a cloud at night and a fire by day. And oh, wow. Uh, so I just really wanted to drop in and say that, the, that God has more than one way. He has more than one way. And um, so whatever area of ministry you've been called in, ask God for his wisdom. People say, well, you got to use wisdom. Yeah, yeah, that's what he said. He said, be wise as a serpent and gentle as a dove, right? Wisdom is the principal thing. So ask God for his wisdom as to how he wants you to continue doing what he has called you to do. Uh, with social media, there's just so many different ways of doing things. And uh, th right now, this is our new normal. Um, uh, the traditions and the routines and things that ways that we've been used to doing things have been changed. And that's okay because we have to be willing to shift. Uh, with the Holy Spirit, just because things have changed and it's broken our routine does not mean that God is saying, hey, you can't don't do it no more. No, we have to now we have to go to him, say, Lord, give me wisdom um, to show me what my part is in all of this. What, what's my part in help reaching the lost? I mean, there's just so many ways we can help people now. You can buy food online and, and have the Uber take it to them. You know, you can buy groceries for people at the grocery stores without even going to the grocery stores if you can find the stuff. You know, what I'm saying is we need to still find out what our part is. If, if he's called you to the homeless, you need to find out, Lord, how can I feed the homeless? I see on City Search, I thank God for the media. I'm just going to be quickly how they, they uh, show the things, you know, they're showing the, um, the nonprofits and things like that out in the street doing outreach still. They're still doing what God has called them to do. Um, you can still do what God has called you to do and wear your gloves and wear your mask because, you know, the Apostle Paul says, I become all things to all men yet without disobeying God. In other words, you, me wearing glass, um, gloves, masks, and doing social distancing, that's not disobeying God. That's the laws of the land. I can do that. If I come to your house and you say, hey, you need to take your shoes off when you come in, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my shoes off before I come in because it's not about the shoes. It's about getting to you. So um, let's obey the laws of the land. Um, but just know that uh, my faith is not in the gloves. My faith is in the blood. But this is what they say. So this is what I'll do to comply in order to be able to uh, serve you. So, um, like I said, I think Potter's Touch Fort Worth. I can shout out to them because they was out there. The people was in the car and they was coming through and they was, you know, giving them whatever it was that they needed. Uh, City Square, I can't keep talking about them um, because, like I said, people were in the car. They was at grocery carts taking stuff to them. You know, they were still doing what God has called them to do. Let's not use this for an excuse to be lazy. Let's not use this as an excuse not to do because the gifts are still in you. Don't allow your gifts to lie dormant. Just because you don't have a platform or you can't go in a building, that does not stop Christ. Actually, Jesus, he walked the earth and he went about doing nothing but good. His ministry was an earthly ministry. So, and and, and also, you know, um, another part I was reading too today was about how when 
the multitude, when Jesus read the multitude, the, the, the disciples said, Jesus, send them away after he finished teaching them. And Jesus said, no, we're not going to send these people away. We're going to feed these people because Jesus is not just interested in our physical needs, our spiritual needs, but he's interested in our physical needs. He tells us in Matthew's, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you because I know that you, don't I clothe the lilies of the field? Don't I feed the birds of the air? You're so much more important to me than those things. God has got you. God has got you. Let's let's be kind in this season. Let's be patient, long suffering, gentleness, and let's find out what people need. You know, hey, like I said, you don't have to take it to them. You can buy it on order online and have Uber take it to them. There's so many ways. We are a body. We're one body. We're one big body. But we're many members and every joint is called to supply a need. So when I'm not doing my part, somebody's not getting what they need. And when somebody's not doing their part, I'm not getting what I need. Every joint supplies a need and God, God wants us to come in, uh, into a, to, to the one in the spirit. He wants us to work together collectively. We're not, nobody's in competition with anybody. Our common goal should be, should be Jesus Christ. People can't steal people. Let's work together. God is the one that adds to the church daily as he see fit. And whatever God has for you, that's for you. Can't nobody else get that. Whatever God has for me, that's for me. Can't nobody else get that. We're not in competition here. We should be working together on one common goal. That's to meet the needs of the people to, so we can minister to the people because Jesus said faith without works is dead. Yes, pray. Okay, but when you finish praying, what is God saying? You know, when you finish doing your talking, what is God saying to you? You know, God has more than one way. He's not limited by anything. This does not catch him off guard. It did not. He, God is not in time. He's outside of time. He's omnipotent. He's omnipresent. He's everywhere at the same time. That's how he's a present help in our times of trouble because he's already in the trouble before we get to the trouble. Actually, he's the first man in the fire because he's already there before you get there. So not, God is not caught off guard by any of this. So um, ask them, okay, God, now we're here. We're in this place. Show us how to use our gifts. Show us how to use our talents. We should not be limited by one way. God has more than one way. And and um, sometimes you may have to take it a long route, but use this time too for self-reflection um, to allow the Holy Spirit to show you you so we can work those things out of us and allow the Holy Spirit to work his things in us. The Bible said that we're clean through the word. So as we begin to dig in the word, um, we can be de- we can be delivered. The word of God is still the power of God. The blood of Je- the the name of Jesus uh, is still it's it's the name. That's power in the name of Jesus. Demons trim. Uh, if uh, it, everything that has a name has to bow to the name. So let's speak to this thing and let's not get in fear because fear opens the door to the devil in our lives and fear causes torment. So fear is a spirit. God did not give it to us. God did not give us a spirit of fear, a power, love, and a sound mind. Uh, just check yourself, really, and see, is it really because I'm scared? Because there's no buts in God. But God said to be wise. Yeah, be wise. Wear your gloves, wear your mask, uh, but find out what he tells you to do. There's something, actually, that God wants you to do. Because believe it or not, it's harvest time. People's hearts are tender. People's hearts are ripe. People's hearts are ready. People's hearts are open. Now is the time to go fishing. So ask God, show me uh what's my platform how do you want me to go about doing what you want me to do how do you want me to go about teaching how do you want me to go about doing this how you there's so many different ways um god has given us so many different ways to do what he has exited to do i'm gonna end it here you guys be blessed be so encouraged uh keep looking for the good in your day so you can see god's goodness all throughout this wonderful 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 day and if you need some ideas like i said they did the diaper thing they they opened the trunk they put the diapers in the trunk you know they still did their social distancing uh, but they and ministering to the needs of the people at the same time um if i if you are not doing something find a ministry that is and uh and that's on with them we're one body it's no competition people ain't stealing people that's a carnal mind mindset god is the one that adds to the church daily as he see fit Let's not, you know, let's not get in, there's no competition. There's no, everyone is running their own individual race. Uh, 
Um, I, like I said, I thank God for Walmart for having faith in my vision because Walmart has supported us not once but twice. And I'm just believing God that there's more that's going to come alongside to help us so we can go and help meet the needs of other people. You have senior citizens. These people still need to eat. The needs didn't go away. If anything, they got greater because it's harder to get certain things now. Um, so the needs didn't go away. They didn't stop. So I uh, ask God to show you another way because there is another way again i'm gonna end here you guys be blessed be encouraged keep looking for the what's good in your day so you can see god's goodness all throughout your wonderful wonderful day remember faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god but fear comes by hearing too and hearing the words of the world so uh what it really all boils down to is that we have to believe um that we are covered by the blood of jesus regardless of what they, they're saying all the different things they're saying at the end of the day in the beginning of the day we have to walk by faith and not by sight and we have to believe that as children of god that the blood of jesus is over our doorpost which is us the blood of jesus is over us the blood of jesus covers us there's no buts in god either we believe it or we don't psalms 91 either we believe it or we don't either we believe that no evil should come to our dwelling or we don't there is no buts in god for a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways because he has a divided loyalty. Now, which is it? Pick a side. You covered or you're not. Which one is it? Which one is it? Um, let's let. We need to deal with that issue. We need to make sure that's not a fear issue. We need to really deal with that. We really need to look at ourselves and say, God, am I in fear or am I in faith or am I in doubt? And I'm, we need to deal with that. We need so because until we deal with it, until we confess it, if it's fear, we need to say it's fear, so we can be delivered and set free from it. Let's not be in denial because the worst deception 